One of the things I really like about my office on the third floor of the Fine Arts Building at Northern Kentucky University is that every morning, no matter how tired and bleary-eyed I may be, I catch a glimpse of contemporary art from the NKU Gallery. Normally this gallery is white, but when I walked past it this morning, I was just shocked to see this bold, vibrant color. So of course I had to come in and take a look at the show. And there's a fabulous exhibit by Barbara Houghton called Changing India, One Woman at a Time. And she is a faculty member at Northern Kentucky University, and she took these photographs of women in India. And I was really interested to show you not only her very beautiful photography, but the way this gallery was transformed to present it. And I think the colors are so effective here because they really draw the colors of her photographs out so much. The white matting pops against the walls and just draws your eyes into the photograph and it really makes it come to life. The other thing is that walking into this gallery with these colors, I really feel like I'm entering into a completely different world, which is totally unlike that hallway. By stepping into this space, it allows me to interact in a very intimate way with these photographs. And I, I think that that's what the artist wants us to do, is to connect with these subjects in that sort of intimate space. So I'm really excited about this. I love the way the installation becomes part of the artwork. Now, I'm not suggesting that all galleries should go and paint bold colors all over their walls, but I do think in this case, it shows how important the installation is to the overall experience. So I'm here with David Knight, director of the art galleries at Northern Kentucky University, and I want you to tell us a little bit about this installation. It was sort of a combination between the artist Barbara Houghton and I sort of wanting to get the feel. There are photographs that were taken in India and so we really wanted to get the feel of the colors and the culture of India and so the artist chose these two colors and sometimes in exhibitions we'll change the complete feeling of the gallery space by completely changing the color and for this one I think it's pretty successful. It's the theme of India, it's sort of playful, fun, um, and really catches your attention when you're walking down the hall. So how many shows a year do you do in this gallery? Um, our gallery program, we have two galleries, and we can range anywhere from 12 to 15 exhibits per year, depending on whether they're outside artists or our student artists. In music, we talk a lot about sound color and how important sound color is. So from my perspective, just being in this room to me has a lot of sound associated with it. Sure. Um, but we felt that um, color with this exhibit was really important in how you interpret the work and sort of put you into a different environment. And I feel like even with music, it can sometimes we put you in a different environment. And so we really didn't want it just to be a typical gallery showing with white walls and artwork hanging on the wall. We wanted informative information um, and create more of an environment when you walk in. So I felt like we've accomplished that with this. I think you've accomplished it so well, in fact, that I want to ask you, do you mind if I practice my flute in here for a few minutes? Sure.